Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another one of my Mythic Mobs tutorials. Today, we are going to be covering the universe- yeah. We are going to be covering the universal attributes, um... Frick. We are going to be covering universal attributes. Now, these are, uh, what these are are little- just little options that you can add to literally everything Mythic Mobs offers. By everything, I mean effects and skills, of course, but... Um, yeah, so it's gonna be like super helpful and it pretty much it makes your files much more efficient easier to read more compact uh, And there's just a lot more customization you can do with it as opposed to typing everything out manually uh, Like well, you'll see as we go on in the tutorial So first things first if you haven't already hop on down into my discord link will be in the description below We have lots of stuff always going on new content being posted there uh, Giveaways a lot of community questions being answered a lot of really cool player showcases being shown off and I have my own server in there that's in currently in the beta stage. So if you're curious and you need a server to play on, make sure to go check out my Discord channel. Link will be in the description below. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to do first things first. As always, you're going to want to have a mob set up and a skills file. So we're going to keep this one kind of short and sweet. We're going to go and start off with a skill here. We're going to type in skill. S equals lightning, lightning death. I do apologize as this, uh, with this one, the um, uh, the video might get kind of obnoxious audio wise, but well, we're just gonna go, we're gonna move forward. So we have, we have it set to add self on interact. Now let's go ahead and make our skill here. Lightning death. Okay, so first thing we're gonna want to do is we're gonna have or we're gonna want to put our special effect, uh, effect lightning itself. Okay, so what's this look like? We're gonna reload and we're gonna spawn in our universal mod. And when we right-click him, boom. Okay, that's cool. But how do I make him die? Well, easy. All you have to do is do remove at self. Okay. So now we're going to reload and he's gone. All right. That's so simple, but how can I make something even cooler than that? You know, that's so bland and so just instant. How can I make it more? I don't know. Fancy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you. So we're going to play around with some new things or not really new, but we're going to play around with some things called delay, repeat and repeat interval. Pretty much what it does is we're going to add a thing here. And this isn't the delay I'm talking about, by the way. This is just a normal delay here. Um, so what we're going to do is say you want the lightning to activate five times. Well, you can... Well, that didn't work. Okay, we're just going to do a copy paste. You can copy and paste it five times like this and remove that last delay. We're going to reload. We're going to spawn our mob. Okay. That worked, but this is kind of clunky to read, don't you think? I mean, you know how hard it it would be to add other skills to this and have to do the math? Like, say you're to do like delay five skill here and then delay five again. That's just, uh, that's clunky and that's, you know, it really messes with your numbers here. So what we're gonna do, we are actually going to delete all of this here and we're gonna add a new thing right after the end of our effect here. Um, this is where you will have general skill options. Now, you'll notice if you look in the manual with lightning, all you will get is effect lightning itself. That's it. There are no options to use. But this is proof that you can use universal attributes with everything Mythic Mobs. So, what we're going to do, we're going to type repeat equals four and repeat interval equals ten. Now, what difference does that make? So pretty much what it does is repeat is essentially, um, let me type it over here. It's essentially one plus whatever number you type in. Since we have it four, that means it is going to use effect lightning five times. So that's very important to keep in mind. And let's go ahead and look at it. We're going to reload. Okay. He disappeared as soon as the first lightning struck. We don't want that. We want him to disappear at the very end. So what we're going to do, we could do delay 50 here. 
or we could make our file more compact and we could type in delay equals 40. Now, you're probably wondering why I set it to 40 rather than 50. Well, that's because when you add a delay like this, it automatically adds 10 ticks to it, which I found out through testing. Um, so pretty much whatever delay, like if you want a skill to activate at the same time as your last effect, you're gonna to wanna to take these numbers, which is gonna be four times 10. We all know that equals 40. So we're gonna add delay equals 40. And from there, uh, it's gonna remove itself. Again, uh, important to keep in mind, this will activate five times because it's repeating four times afterwards. But adding this delay, there's like a hidden 10 ticks in there that's already added. So it's very important to uh, keep in mind the numbers here. So we're gonna go and reload. And we're gonna spawn him in and two, three, four, five, go. Isn't that beautiful? That's so perfect, isn't it? Okay, so now the last thing we can do, uh, let's let's add a couple more fancy stuff here. So we're gonna do effect particles, particle equals huge explosion, amount equals one, at self, and uh, sound s equals entity dot generic dot explode itself. Okay, so now that we got that going on, um, we're gonna spawn them in, and well, if you saw and heard, he already used these abilities. So, like the remove mechanic, we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste our delay here. So we're gonna type that. We're gonna put a little semicolon here at the end. We're going to paste the delay equals 40. Okay, we're going to save and reload again. A lot of reloading, I know. Um, but this is pretty much this is pretty much how you make a mob. It's constantly saving and reloading, trust me. So, now... Boom, that was perfect. Exactly what we were going for. And we can admit, that looks way better than seeing something typed out like, uh, you know, if we were to go this delay 10 you know and one two three four five and then have the effects that's just that's just obnoxious to read isn't it don't you guys think i mean yeah that's that's a lot of line you can effectively turn uh pretty much 17 lines of code into four just by using repeat repeat interval and using a delay tag here so that's, um, that's pretty much the gist on those three. As you can tell, it's very useful. Uh, you can coordinate a lot of things. You can also do like, uh, you can type a skill and it, say we have um, skill two, or actually wait, S equals, uh, we'll type in lightning death two at self. If we don't have this delay tag, that means this will run as soon as this skill is run. And I will show you here proof of that. So lightning death two skills effect particles particle equals flame mount equals 100 yada yada the usual that I always do every single time. So, okay, so since we, um, let me lower case that. Okay, so since we don't have the delay tag, this will literally activate at the exact same time this skill does. And to prove it, we are going to reload, spawn them in, and see that? There go the little fire particles. So, of course, if we don't want that, we could just do delay equals 40. We're gonna speed that up a little bit. 0 0.3. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so reload. Now, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, of course, this is literally just an example of how you would throw another skill into it. Uh, if you just want to make this all be one skill, just go ahead and copy and paste it up here rather than having all this. Uh, it's not necessary, but I will go ahead and leave it down there in my notes so that way you guys can refer to it later on. Now, the last thing I want to cover is cooldown. Cooldown will not work the same way repeat and repeat interval will. With these, you can just automatically throw them into something, but cooldown 
essentially replaces this. So here we would have a cooldown of one second on Lightning Death, meaning after uh, after this is used, a mob has to wait at least one second before using it again. So instead of having that, say you have mobs that only have like one skill per, what we can do is we're going to do something very obnoxious here. So we're going to reload and we're just going to spam right click him. Yeah, that's very annoying, as you can see. So, to avoid something like that, we can type in cooldown equals 10. We already know that um, our cooldown lasts 50 ticks, which is equivalent to 2.5 seconds. So, we can actually... Uh, I'll switch this to 5. So, like before, cooldown, the number is equal to seconds rather than ticks. Because if you were to put it here, cooldown 5... This means it has to wait at least five seconds before it can be used again. But since we have it in the mob file instead, we don't have to worry about adding it over here. Again, I don't recommend it if um, if you're using uh, a boss with a lot of skills. Like if you have random skill, do not use this because that'll pretty much put every single skill in the random skill on a cooldown um, of five seconds. And that can be helpful However, if you have some skills that are super powerful and you want to have a cooldown of like 30 something, this I'm pretty sure will override or it'll just make it obsolete entirely. So do not use this in conjunction with random skill. Only use it uh, on skills that literally only have one skill like Lightning Death. So to prove it to you that we cannot spam right click like we just did a second ago, we're going to reload one last time and we're going to spawn in our mob and we're going to spam right click and see what happens. Nope. It literally worked out how we coded it the first time, which is wonderful. Um, as you would imagine, this is actually really good for player-based skills too. If you don't want to go through and add cooldowns for every individual skill, you can just throw it in the overall item or mob folder and it just takes care of it that way for you. So that's pretty much it, all I've got for you guys today. Uh, if you like this video or inspired you, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Uh, again, make sure to join my Discord if you're looking for answers or really cool stuff, server to play on, uh, showcases, art, whatever, whatever you, uh, whatever you really like, it's all in there. So make sure to join today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.